Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. Today I'm joined by Mr Richard Holden. Hello, Hello sir. And we're going to be using our alpha wood fired oven and we're going to be making the catcher. The catcher. So pizzas, everybody knows about pizzas in a wood fired yeah. oven. Uh, so we're going to bake a loaf of bread. Uh, this is a focaccia dough, strong bread flour, um, yeast, salt, a little bit of sugar, some warm water and kneaded recipes going to be available on the website so it's all good uh needed for about 20 minutes until it's um until it kind of when you make it into a nice tight ball and just a little thumb impression on the top it bounces back nice and uh, and easily baking tray just pop some olive oil onto here now this is the first stage so this has had its first prove it's sat once it's been kneaded it was popped into the bowl with a little bit of oil in the bottom some flour yeah. on the top cling over nice warm place about an hour until it doubles in size and then you bring it out and I'm just going to pop it onto this tray with some oil, oil on my fingers, and then it's time to just put some nice dimple holes into it. Now I'm going to recruit your help for this. Okay. We've got some rosemary. I know you're not a fan of olives, so I'll take care of the <laughs> olives. We're just going to um, scatter this with some nice um, sprigs of rosemary and pit some olives or just squash up some olives and um, pop these on as well. And then we'll do a final dust over with some um, sea salt. Yep. Then this goes for another proof for a second proof for about 20 minutes, half an hour, until it's ready, until it's kind of doubled in size again. And then it will go into the alpha. Now the alpha's already preheated. Um, the key, if you haven't watched any of the other alpha videos that are on the YouTube channel, which we'll be looking down the camera to talk to people at home for that one. Um, if you haven't watched them, then there's more videos available, but the secret with roasting and baking on the alpha is that you need to stabilize the temperature. And to do that, you just need to make sure that it's preheated. Yeah, we've had this one lit for a few hours. Yeah. Um, not for any reason, we've just been, not used the barbecue for a while, we've lit it, let it cook off. Um, we've lit it, if you want to know how to light one, there is a very good video really showing you how to light video. one, really simple. The wood, what do they call the woodsman? The woodsman fire lighters. Um, really simple. But yeah. um, the idea is that the insulation in the oven gets nice and evenly heated so you don't get the fluctuations from when you add a log and it dips a little bit yeah. and then it comes up to temperature and if you get it nice and preheated then it will just it will moderate at a really really sensible stable temperature is that enough so i think that's looking pretty good okay. um, we're just going to finish that off with a sprinkle of the molden sea salt now one of the things with the focaccia is that you get a nice salty bite as you uh, as you have a, a slice of this so we're just going to go with some of the sea salt hopefully some of it with the wind we've got today hopefully some of it's stuck to the top of the focaccia but that because of the oil on the top we don't need to cover that um, that will just sit now somewhere warm for about 20 minutes 20 25 minutes until it's just proved up again risen again and then we'll come back and we'll pop it straight into the into all right the so we'll give that time to prove then we'll pop, it, pop back and we'll show you it going in the wood-fired oven we've let it rest it's risen you can see it's risen up yeah it's had a 20 minute proof um just put a little bit more oil on the top as well and we're ready to go. So our, our uh, pizza oven's at the 180, 190 temperature. Um, a really simple tip or a really simple thing to know is that if you've got flames on the on the fuel, yep. something over it like a piece of tinfoil will stop it from browning too much. If you're right, down okay. to embers and there's no obvious flames, you can actually put a lot of food in there without any cover on the top. So um, just take some tinfoil and with the oil on the top, it should be fine. Hopefully we can get it to the oven without it blowing away. Good thing about the wood-fired oven is on a day like today, even when it's blustery, it's uh, maintaining temperature beautifully. So that's just gonna go straight in on the uh, preheated ceramic base of the oven. And 20 minutes, we'll put the door back on the front. We'll give it, it's gonna take 20 minutes in total. Okay. We'll give it about 17, 18, just to be precise. And then we'll whip the foil off the top, let the top go nice and golden and crispy. And then by that point, it should be crispy on the bottom, crispy on the top, and nice and soft in the center. Okay, so we'll let that cook and we'll come back to it. So we've had 20 minutes, we've yep. taken the foil off. Should we yep. have a peek? Yep, we gave it about 17, 18 minutes. Had a check on the top, the bottom was already nice and crispy. And if we pull that out there, that's nice. We've got a nice crust on the top yep. edge. Sit that there and put the door back on the oven. And then, um, the other way of checking it, obviously this is going to be toasty warm, so you need to be careful how you do this. But if you just give it a nice little tap underneath, no I don't soggy. know if that came through on my microphone or not, but... There's no soggy bottom there. no soggy bottom there, nice and crisp because you've got it on the stone bake. So if we cut through this, I'm just going to go straight through the centre. That feels fantastic. Look at that. 
Very excited. You're not going to do your happy dance, are you? Yeah, we are. So I'll let you um, wrap up. I'll cut us a couple of pieces and okay. we can have a taste. And um, the catcher for tea. All right. So if you want the recipe for this... Uh, this uh, focaccia. Focaccia. There you go. So if you want the recipe for this focaccia, visit our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. Um, we've got more YouTube videos on our YouTube channel of how uh, dish it, different dishes with the alpha oven. Um, we're across all the social media platforms. He's putting me off. We're right. across all the social media platforms. Um, if you want more advice on the alpha ovens, visit the stock shop here at Hayes Garden World. Um, really it's really good. He's keeping me, he really is distracting <laughs> me. Um, so we'll see you next time. I'm going to try a bit of this focaccia and hopefully enjoy.